What up, YouTube? You already know, Big Lou tapping back in with what it do, Big Lou NFZR2, baby, baby. So, as you guys already know, today was Monday, start of a new work week. I said that to say this uh, NFL playoff picture, um, the conclusion of this weekend, and now it's all set in stone. Who will be battling who in the AFC championship game and the NFC championship game? Um, before we get to all that, though, I want to break down uh, and give you the playoff picture from the beginning, how it looked from the beginning, right? So out of the AFC, the first, uh, well, we'll start with, the, we'll go back, uh, we'll go from the bottom up. Seventh seed was the Miami Dolphins. The sixth seed was the Baltimore Ravens. The fifth seed was the L.A. Chargers, right? The uh, fourth seed was the Jacksonville Jaguars. The third seed was the Cincinnati Bengals. The second seed was the Buffalo Bills. And the first seed with the bye was the KC Chiefs, right? And on the end in the end from the NFC, it was a uh, seventh seed was the Seattle Super uh, Seattle Seahawks, excuse me, almost said the Supersonics. The sixth seed was the New York Giants. Fifth seed was the Dallas Cowboys, right? The fourth seed was the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The third seed was the Minnesota Vikings. Second seed was the San Francisco 49ers. And the first seed with the bye was the Philadelphia Eagles, right? So over the weekend, or excuse me, Saturday, the Saturday's games were, right? Philadelphia smashed the Giants 38 to 7. And Kansas City beat Jacksonville by a score of 27 to 20. Sunday's games were Cincinnati beat the Buffalo Bills 27 to 10 in a blizzard, right? In, in the snow um, at home, right? And Buffalo couldn't get it going. Josh Allen, they just couldn't get it going, man. That's two years in a row that I was going for Buffalo to win it all. I, you know, you guys already know I'm a Raider, so I cannot stand the Chiefs at all. I can't stand the Chargers. I can't stand Bron Denver Broncos. And even, I've said this before and I'll say it again, even the Seattle Seahawks I don't like because they used to be in our division. At one point in time, I used to feel the same way about the Bills that I did about the, the Broncos, Chiefs, or, yeah, Broncos, Chiefs, and Chargers um, because of that bad taste it left in our mouths back in 91 when we got smashed 55-3 to by Buffalo in the AFC Championship game. Um, that was the week following the Cincinnati Bengals Raider game when Bo Jackson went out and never came back with the hip injury. But I think Buffalo Bills got one of the baddest jerseys. The white jersey with the blue numbers is one of the cleanest jerseys there are, as well as the New York Giants white jersey with the red numbers. Those two jerseys are bad as fuck. I like them both. Um, I like them equally. You know what I'm saying? I like them equally. As far as the way the colors look, I won't ever wear them, but uh, it is what it is. I only wear Raider shit. Unless it's a Raider player and it's their college jersey, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I might wear that. Or maybe if it was like, you know, Marcus Allen, but I never would wear it because it's the Chiefs. But say like Marcus Allen went to another, had went to another team instead of the, because uh, most of the Raiders, most of the Raider greats in my, from my era never went nowhere else really. You know, Tim Brown, I think Tim Brown did sign with somebody temporarily. It wasn't long at all, but for the most part, he never went nowhere else. Bo Jackson never went nowhere else. Marcus Allen went to the Chiefs, which I will never wear that shit, right? Um, Howie Long, nope. Greg Townsend, nope. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of guys that, uh, you know, Kaufman, Tyrone Wheatley played with the Giants before. So it's just, you know, it's one of them things. But I won't wear another team. It just, it is what it is. So those were uh, Sunday, uh, those were uh, Saturday's results. And then Sunday's results was, like I already mentioned, Cincinnati and Buffalo. And then the later game was a, a great defensive game. It was all field goals up until that George Kittle touchdown. Um, the Niners ended up beating the Dallas Cowboys 19-12, right? Up in, like I said, up until that touchdown, it was 12-12. It was, uh, what, uh, eight field goals kicked or something like that. What, what 12? Yeah, three, three, three. That's, yeah, four field goals, so eight field goals total. And then finally a touchdown by Kittle. Um, you know, I don't know. We'll see what, man, this, this youngster – I mean, even if you don't, they don't, even if they, you know, uh, lose this next game, you know, a, a, a NFC championship game, that youngster Purdy, man, had a hell of a run, man. 
I mean, no, you can't take nothing away from them. You can't take nothing away from the 49ers defense. They 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 did their thing, you know. They showed why they're there. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, like I, I've said this before, I don't hate on teams, man. I don't hate on teams. I wish that everybody else would be the same way. You know what I'm saying? Um, so now, so now we have uh, next week, next Sunday, right? Next Sunday we have um, the Eagles playing at uh, the Eagles and 49ers are playing in Philly, right? That's a 12 p.m. noon game, right? And then the AFC game is being played in Kansas City. It's the Chiefs and the uh, Bengals, and that's a 3.30 game, right? And then the Super Bowl is set for February the 12th at 3.30, and that'll be be named. It's it's yet to be determined yet because we don't know the outcome of these games coming up, right? But – I, you know, I haven't been dropping too many NFL videos other than when I do profiles on the players from the 80s. You know what I'm saying? I haven't did a football one. I think the last one I did was, uh, uh, I believe it was Eric Dickerson and Tony Dorsett. So I'm going to get back on the profiles, finish those up. And I got some other series coming up. I got a little bit of crime coming up. Um, um, it so happens that uh, Lucky Local had had an interview the other day with a, a gentleman by the name Mr. Uh, Senor Mesa. Mesa or Mesa, um, and he was speaking about the situation with the sister, um, with the indigenous people, the fem- the ladies getting kidnapped and, and and disappearing pretty much. And I already had plans on touching on that um, as far and as long as I mean, excuse me, and as long and I had a couple other um, little videos I was going to drop on things that have that have have that has happened. Jeez, um, there's I have a few already on deck that I already have them sketched out what I'm going to do. And, um, that was one of them about the natives. Uh, you know, they, uh, they, they, this needs to be, it's a big issue. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's all throughout the United States on these reservations, uh, you know, people are missing and they're Americans just like anybody else, man. They deserve justice and, 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 uh, you know, the, the, they deserve the proper, uh, you know, they got, they, they got, they, they put it this way. They, they need to have, Everything else that forwarded to them, just like everybody else gets, you know what I'm saying? And it's a big issue. It's a big problem, man. So people, that's why I always tell people, be aware, always be aware. You never know what people's intentions are, what their what their sick minds are at. This is a crazy world. So I always talk about that, you know, as far as being aware, always pay attention, things like that, and be responsible. Those are two main things I always talk about. So anyways, I've, I, I'm going to be touching on that soon. I got some boxing videos coming up with a, with the guests soon. Um, and I got some other things planned. Um, so that being said, this is just a quick little video on the football, the way the NFL playoff picture is now looking with uh, just four teams remaining. And after next weekend, after next Sunday, we will know who's playing in the, this year's Super Bowl. All right. That being said, Big Lou tapping out.